Am I that funny? Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. This video is brought to you by Beauty Forever Hair. They sent me this unit to try for you guys about a year ago. It's another second review. This wig's back, all right. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Now, if you want to see how I got my wig from Who Done It and Why to Fly, and know how I get my fast fashion wigs to last a long, long time, make sure you stay tuned for that. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit comes to us from Beauty Forever Hair. This is going to be the second time I'm reviewing this unit, so let me go ahead and get her out the plastic. This is their Kinky Curly 20 inch wig, I believe, and I'm pretty sure it has a 13 by 4 yep, lace parting space. So let me get her out my packaging I have worn this wig out okay if you remember when I first reviewed her again almost a year ago I think this wig was on my head all the time okay I was wearing her for everything I didn't care and I did not wash her either okay so this is how she is looking after almost a year of wear okay she has been through it <laughs> <laughs> but I still feel like she looks wearable. I mean, a little spray down will go a long way. But this is how the inside is looking. Okay, 13 by four lace parting space. Mine did come with the adjustable elastic band in my wig. Let me put this back on so I can show y'all how this is looking on my head. Once I figure out, how does this go? Okay, let me just put her on like so. Did my band come off? Uh-oh. Mm, it sure did. <laughs> I don't have on the adjustable straps in the back. So I'm just using my elastic band to put it on my head. Ooh, wee. But I still feel like she look good. She stank though. She <laughs> she got a year of smells up in this joint for sure. I've been spraying her down with water and using my mousse to uh, spot check, but that's about it. I have not washed her since my initial install. So do what you will with that information. Let me show you how I rock her down. I would get my spray bottle like this. Mm-hmm. And then, Fluff her out, a little tangle right there, not much. I will work it out like that. Then I will take my Nairobi mousse, spot check it, like right there, that needs some, that needs some loving. Twirl it around the finger, hold it, like so. Scrunch it up. I am getting some shedding. Got the tangles and the matting up in there. Guess what, I don't care. Cause I like my wigs to look real lived in. So for me, I know y'all gonna think that I'm crazy. I don't mind my wig to look disheveled. That's kind of the look that I go for when I wear these curly wigs. That looks a little janky. What's going on with that? Let's go ahead and put some mousse, put some mousse on here. Come on curls, get back in there. We're gonna hold that one a little bit longer. <laughs> my nape is definitely tangled. If you can see. Eh. Not too bad though, but she gonna have some shedding back there for sure. Ooh, ooh, now my mouth is dirty. And then for the front of the hairline, I will put some mousse on it like this, swirly, swirly. Then I will clip back the front, taking no time at all, what I tell y'all. And then I will just wrap her down like this. Give it about, you know, a minute or two. Mm -hmm. And then I will just unwrap her Take these out, make sure it's sitting where I want her to sit. And that is pretty much how I would rock her outside. Very easy, very simple look, nothing crazy. I don't want to mess this up. I don't want super defined curls. I like this look. I'm gonna wash it. Okay, I'm washing the tangle of my wig so we can see how much shedding I get for this wig. The hair is still soft though, so I don't think I'm gonna have too much, too much pull or uh, friction when I go in to wash it. That back gonna have some work though, I can tell. It's gonna have some shedding back there. But let me go ahead and do that. Then we'll come back and diffuse the hair together and see what she's looking like, okay? Be right back. Okay, so the hair is all washed and pretty much detangled. This is how we are looking. I did get a good amount of shedding as you guys can see right here. So I'm gonna come down like that. What happened to the lace? That's a lot of empty lace right there. I don't know if I lost some hair along the way, but I have a lot of extra lace right here. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my hairline too much. I'm gonna use my Nairobi mousse around the front because we will be rocking this unit glueless. The hairline wasn't really plucked. Maybe that's what happened. I pulled out some hair and I actually made it bald. I mean, it was a year ago, so I don't really know. I don't remember what I did. I found my band that I already had, so let me use that so I don't get nobody stealing my content talking about some is theirs. I'm about sick of y'all scammers. To the back, to the back. What? When the best, the best might not work. 
Okay. I'm gonna do a little tag team. Tag team, back again. Pretty sure this is a 20 inch unit and it does have layers in it. So the back is longer than the front. I'm gonna do mousse all over. Uh oh, that loose one? Can't be losing this product even though I just bought some more. Okay, go me. Make sure my tracks are going to the back. The hair detangled really nicely. It did take a little bit of, you know, it took a little bit of effort to get those tangles out the back and around that nape because, you know, that's where most of that friction is. But it didn't take as long as it took with the other fast fashion wig that I just did. It took me about 10 minutes. I might have some, Ugh. I may have some more shedding after this part, we'll see. I can feel the friction around the back. Yep, some tangles in there, let's work that out. But it would appear that I got most of my tangles out during the wash. Push it back, because I want my hair to be out my face. Mommy. Yes, Poop. are not working. It's pony hair. Where's the pony comb? Pony too? The pony came with a comb, child. You gonna bring it back to me? Okay. Yep, I got some more shedding right there. Take my curl glaze a little bit. Mm, let's do a little bit more. Like that, get that shine on the hair. Then I'm gonna clump the ends. Clumpity, clump, clump, clumpity, clump, clump, almost Christmas time. Halloween is around the corner, which means Thanksgiving is next. Cr Christmas is pretty much next week. <laughs> Why are you mocking me? Am I that funny? No. Oh. <laughs> Children will humble you. <laughs> it's looking good. Scrunch it up. I'm gonna pin it back like this. This side doesn't have no type of tangles. I must have got all those out, okay. Let's take some curl glaze. That's a little bit more than the other side, but that's all right. Work it in, work it in like that. Get them ends. When I use the curl glaze on top of the mousse, it does start to dry the hair down a lot faster. Take your time when it comes to these fast fashion wigs. I call them fast fashion because they don't come with a whole lot as far as, you know, pre-pluckness or bleach knots and the hair quality may not be, you know, all that great, but you can still make these units last if you are low on the manipulation. Low on the manipulation. Don't jump in the pool with these kind of wigs, especially if the hair is colored. Some of y'all have done it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who it is, she knows who she is. Pool water, chlorine. No, the hair has been processed and processed again to get these curls like this. It is a human hair wig, but it's not a human hair texture. It didn't grow out of somebody's scalp with this curl pattern. They created this curl pattern on this human hair. Okay, so be very clear about that before you decide to do a whole bunch of manipulation with this wig. Low manipulation for me. For me, me. <laughs> That's what I do to these wigs. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse and fluff the hair and then we'll come back and see what the final result is. I think it's, it's gonna look good. I, I know it's gonna look good. Mm -hmm. Here's the look. Let me bring this, open that a little bit. I think I wanna pull some hair out that middle. Let me take off the band first in the back and see what she, See what she's sitting like. Okay, okay, I can work with this. Can definitely pull some hair out of there. I'm gonna pull this right here to open that back up. Maybe that's why I had the extra lace on there because I pulled hair out like this. Do you remember? Nope. <laughs> Let me use a little bit of my powder right here in the parting space. Eh. You know what, let me stop playing. Let me just do a little bit of contour like that. The roots are straight, so you know, you gotta work with what you got. The layers in this one are not showing as much as it did for the first install. I did diffuse for about five minutes just to get the curls to clump, and then I took the diffuser off and blow dried it down because it was gonna take forever to blow dry this hair, and I just didn't have the patience. And that worked a little bit, but because I didn't diffuse it the entire way through, the layers are a little, a little bit longer than I expected them to be. But I still think it's cute. I just bought some bobby pins. Pull it up like this. Pull this side up like that. And then I'm gonna crisscross it like this. And then I'll bobby pin it to the side. And bobby pin this side down like that. Bring the sides down. Hold on, my glasses need to be fixed. Glasses on over the lace and through the track. I think that is it for that. Okay, look, I ain't wanna do it, but 
I did it. Okay, I did it. Don't be alarmed when I say fast fashion. All that means is you don't get bleach knots, you may not get a pre-plug hairline, or you may get a little bit, and you definitely will not get a super high quality unit. The hair texture will not be super high quality. You will get shedding, tangling, and matting on these type of wigs. And the textures may be a little bit looser than what they claim to be. Again, this is the Beauty Forever Kinky Curly unit. But if you compare this to a high quality wig, it may feel more like a Jerry Curly. But for Beauty Forever, their Jerry Curly units are looser. The Kinky Curly ones are a lot tighter in the curl, but the texture may be a more silkier texture. Does that make sense? So if you're new to wigs and a super texture unit is just not in your ministry and you're calling right away, the fast fashion kinky curly units may be more your speed. But just know what I said in this video, bars, stands for all of them, okay? The wigs are not meant to last a long time, but if you practice low manipulation, they will last you. Okay, a year? A year! Oh my goodness, I hope you listen to me in this video. Understand what you're getting before you spend your coin. Okay, but anyway, I feel like I look good. Okay, the hairline is looking pretty natural. The hair is really soft and manageable. Like, it looks really good. Okay, the low manipulation is what saves your wigs. No pool, no chlorine, no ocean, no mudding, none of that. You can wear her as a vacation wig, but do not think you're gonna do a bunch of extras in this wig and it's not gonna, it's gonna go down quickly. <laughs> So if you have this wig but you ran into problems, here you go. If you don't have this wig but you wanna try her out now, the information is down below in my description box, okay? Make sure you check this out and use my coupon code. I got you. Shout out one more time to Beauty Forever Hair for sending me this unit, I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and the coupon codes for this unit down below so if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.